During the week, all year round, is your box lunches. And predominantly chicken salad, because the chicken salad is the number one seller. These are called cheese wafers. They're real good. One goes in every lunch box. You have five ingredients that goes into a lunch box. When you get a lunch box, it ain't that say you just got a sandwich and that's it. No, you got five different things in your little lunch box, which is real nice. And I think for the price that you pay for it, you get, you get your money's worth. In 1985, I married Scott in May, and December of that year, I started working here. My husband, Scott Jones, is the great nephew of Cabell Jones, who was the originator of Sally Bell's. She began Sally Bell's at the Women's Exchange in 1924. She did this for years and years and years, and then my mother-in-law, Scott's mother, took over because um, Cabell's health became, she was not well. So I, you know, gradually took over from my mother-in-law. So third generation. Well, I worked the front and uh, did the opening up and the, you know, what Martha's doing. It doesn't matter what you get, it's always fantastic. <laughs> I get a roast beef sandwich with the devil's food chocolate cupcake and the potato salad. But I also like the tomato aspect. It's real popular. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of you, when you get a light turkey sandwich, they usually get a tomato aspect. In order to make it, you need boiling hot water and you need a stuff called gelatin. And it's real good, real tasty. And like when we have games and they have tailgates, a lot of people come in and get box lunches, deviled eggs, and potato salad for the tailgate parties. The same order, chicken salad, potato salad, and I will change on my um, dessert. Sometimes I'll get a caramel cupcake, sometimes lemon, sometimes strawberry. The chocolate, the chocolate mocha and the chocolate yellow batter is the best sellers. I was meeting with my uh, financial planner this week. He said, you know, Liz, I'll have to tell you as a Richmond native, uh, my father, whenever he met success in his professional life, he would always treat himself by going to Sally Bell's, buying a box lunch, and sitting out in the car and eating it. He said he didn't care about the crumbs or anything else, and that was his treat to himself. It's delicious. It's as close to homemade as you can possibly get. It looks easy, but it's kind of tedious because you have to mix it up homemade and then you have to mash it down then you have to roll it then you have to cut it out then you have to put it in the stove put the wafers put the ingredients on top of it i make all the spreads which consist of pimento cheese cream and olive cream and nut my mother told me most of it because by the time I got here, my, my grandmother, she had already retired, so my mother sold me. Billy's uh, grandmother, Estelle, worked here 60 years, Estelle Curtis, and she was Mrs. Jones' right-hand woman. She could work the kitchen from the back to the front, and, you know, this pretty much was her other home. I think she started here as a, you know, young girl, maybe 15 or 16. Her daughter, Desiree began working here about, um, probably about 30 years later. And Billy's worked here about 20 years. Desiree's son, Estelle's grandson. And he uh, pretty much does it all too. He's just, he's pretty much our everything. And he's just, you know, it's nice to have a man around the house, especially Billy. Uh, my grandma sat right here. And my mother sat right there. So. And where'd you sit? So now I'm sitting in my grandma's spot. We had to cook like four trays of eggs. It's 30 eggs on a, on a tray, so cooking four, four trays of eggs. That's almost every day. I've had people cry because they couldn't get a deviled egg at one time. <laughs> this girl was so upset. I mean, you know, it just blew my mind <laughs> over a deviled egg. Everything here is homemade, even the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise is homemade. You can tell if you pour the oil in there too fast because it'll get that like splashy water sound. Like, yeah, that have a certain sound to it. 
I guess if you be here like a certain amount of years, you can you can um, tell the difference in the sound. See, it's getting lighter. It's all done. The potato salad is number one, especially during the holidays. It's a potato salad. Yes, almost Christmas. <laughs> I, I really look forward to it. <laughs> and my whole family will be asking me sometimes, but being that I work here, sometimes it gets tiresome. So they're like, who can make potato salad? And I'm like, oh, I wonder who can make potato salad. <laughs> Martha's husband, Scott Jones, he made this little push, pushing thing, something like a Vegematic. Now we're making like 40 something bowls. One Christmas we made 60 bowls, 60 of these bowls. You see those big potato salad bowls? Yeah. They make that stuff and it's delicious. They asked me to dream of potatoes, I was like, not yet. <laughs> Christmas Eve is going to be a knockout. I mean, busy all day long. And they will come to the door in the morning to about maybe about 7.30 or 8 o'clock and stand in line that long. I'm going to wait an hour here for the potato salad. I have the number one ticket. I was say a quarter to six. 6.27. Good for you. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of my grandmother's, and it's just really good. So it's worth the wait and nobody wants to make it. <laughs> Potato salad, macaroni salad, and cupcakes. Same thing everybody else comes for. We came Saturday and got 10 pounds of potato salad and we're back again this morning. We'll probably get another five or six. Since my mother died, I can't make her potato salad. So this is the next yeah, I appreciate best it. thing. So if I'm just pick up and I'm in an express lane, you can have my ticket. That's what the guy, they said, I've already got an order in there, I'm just here to pick it up. Okay, thank you. If they lied to me, we'll argue later. Alright. Richmonders love tradition. It started out with the cupcakes. I was pregnant with my son, so I would come over every day and get a cupcake. <laughs> From the cupcakes to the pies, and then from the pies it was around Easter time and I got the potato salad. Absolutely fell in love with the potato salad, so we have incorporated as one of the James tradition to have salad bell potato salad at all our family functions. Forty-six. Forty-seven. And I am number 63, so only four more. <laughs> it's that score. You get the potato salad, you got it on your Christmas table, did it. Yeah. How'd you make out? I've got it all. <laughs> a lot of the customers, and you'll see it mostly like big holidays, like Thanksgiving and Christmas, have been coming here for years. A lot of them will tell you they've been coming since they were this high. When I was a little girl, we would have birthday games, we would play and the lady would bring out a tray of 30 items and they would take it into the other room, take away one item and bring back 29 items and you'd have to guess which item was gone. And the winner of the game got a Sally Bell's cupcake. So I've been having Sally Bell's cupcake since I was six. I was growing up, the, um, the ritual was, or my mother's habit was every Friday she would come here and get the goodies and then you come home Friday afternoon from school and you always look for the stack of white boxes. That's my big stack now. All right, thank Bye -bye. you so much. Yeah, I guess that's another thing. When people come to town that haven't been here, they, they make this a destination stop. And I think it's comforting if there's something that doesn't change. You know, the work ethic, too, of just um, some people might slouch around, but you don't see that at Sally Mills. Everybody's putting their heart into it. If you didn't enjoy yourself or you didn't like working with food or you didn't care for working with food, it isn't a place for you. When you work around people eight hours a day, to me, it's just like a marriage. It's like for eight hours a day, you constantly see these same people, so it's kind of like you're married to each other until you walk out that door and go home. <laughs> but I don't walk in this store that these ladies don't always give me a lift. Um, and, and so that's real special to me. I don't think I will quit right now. I'll probably stay till I get 95. <laughs> All the grandchildren and great-grandchildren have 
worked down there at one time or another. And boyfriends and girlfriends yeah. and fiancés. Yeah. And it is just kind of like a very close-knit family um, environment, which you don't, I don't think, see very often anymore. To me, it's a part of history. It's a part of history because it's been here for so long. And you kind of hope it stays forever. I'm probably the last woman in line before any of the grandkids, you know, that could run it. So maybe that'll be me in the future. You know, I, I hope it continues. Um, you know, I'd hate for the next generation or after not to have a chocolate devil's food cupcake or taste a deviled egg or, you know, just open that box like it's your own little present. Okay.